Now, you're the fa- founding pastor at King's Church at Guildford. Yeah, and so tell us, um, uh, in the Anglican mission in England, as far as I can work out, this is now one of, one of the, 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 the real growth success stories of what's going on there. I, yeah, I guess so. We were one of the first two, I think, a- AMIE churches. Um, so we started four years ago. And depending on how far you go back, we started with probably four adults mm-hmm. who were sort of committed. Um, and God has grown us, uh, which in one sense is what we, ex- we mm. expect God to grow us, both numerically and in maturity. Uh, numbers wise we're probably now just over 100 on a Sunday um, so it's been thrilling we've described it as um, like building a plane while flying a plane yeah <laughs> which is both thrilling and terrifying at the same time but mm. God's given us lots of growth it's been hard mm-hmm. very hard um, I think it's the most thrilling and tough thing I've ever done mm-hmm. but um, well, I think we did it for two reasons really we did it f- because it's what God is doing he's building his church mm-hmm. so we wanted to get on board with his mission and the people of Guildford desperately need the gospel. It's mm. a very pretty wealthy area, but a very needy area mm-hmm. of Jesus. So, mm. yeah, it's been thrilling. Mm. The uh, the journey of plant church planting in the UK. Um, I mean, as I was talking to Andy Lyons and Lee McMahon earlier, um, there's a real well. There's a group of people who are really hungry and going for this. Yeah, there are. So it's thrilling to see. I think there are now 12 or so Amy churches, uh, but not just Amy churches. The church planting is um, a commission in London, uh, other churches planting in London and across the UK. So it's it's thrilling to see people taking a risk. I think by, by culture, we're pretty risk averse. Mm. So to um, to see people taking risks, well, it's, it's never a risk with God, is it? Mm. Because uh, he's sovereignly ruling the universe. So it but it feels out of our comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And God is honoring that, that God is growing churches all over the UK through church planting. Uh, Mm. So we praise God for that and press Mm. on. Mm. Now tell us, um, as we think about uh, GAFCON this week, what have been your impressions so far? I'm very privileged to be here. It's thrilling to see, I think from a little church plant in Guildford, how we're connected historically, globally and theologically to what God is doing around the world. So as a pastor of a small church that feels very insignificant in many ways, to see how we're part of a much bigger program Mm -hmm. is uh, thrilling. And to to, to mix with brothers and sisters and hear their stories of how God's been growing them and their churches and their ministries has been been thrilling. I think the thing I've been reminded about is how the gospel both offends every culture and yet is also for every culture mm. and so um, we're, everyone around the world is equally sinful mm-hmm. and Jesus is the answer equally for everyone mm-hmm. and that's been a real great reminder too but just to be in a room with 2,000 people from 50 countries united in Christ is thrilling. It's pretty overwhelming isn't it? It is. I got pretty emotional on the first day walking into the auditorium and here being led by African brothers and sisters singing and leading the meeting and preaching, sitting next to people from countries you know I, I've never been to, and just knowing that God is grow. Well, when Jesus says, "I will build my church," I think you you see that in such a clear way mm. at Gafcon. So very thankful. And I think for some of us in the West, where it's really hard going, to meet some of our brothers and sisters from Africa has been so super encouraging. It has because I think. Um, I mean, we, we should say we're actually on the te- on the telly yeah. on uh, on the Anglican African cable network yeah. at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I feel rebuked every time I meet people from those sorts of cultures because I think I'm taking a risk by starting a church from scratch in Guildford mm-hmm. in Surrey in England, and hearing some of the stories of what real risk mm. looks like and um, real sacrifice. Mm is a rebuke to me to think I've just got to yeah. crack on. And one last one, Archbishop Stanley. Um, uh, uh, that was pretty special when, uh, in response to his uh, statement about standing with the church in America and standing with the church in Brazil, the Recife church, the whole congregation spontaneously broke out into into song. Yeah, I think it's, a, and, um, and then stood up and applauded uh, as well. Again, it's um, it's great to see it's that way around. So the so the African uh, brothers and sisters are standing up for the North Americans, 
But again, it's just a reminder of the, the unity in Christ and the partnership, the genuine, true gospel partnership united around Christ is um, right. joyful. Mate, we'll let you go and get on the bus. Okay, <laughs> Great to see you. Cheers.